planting season on hold for many. What's the long term outlook in the markets? We caught up with our analyst. Here's more. Time now for a look at your market report. Joining us through KRVN is Joe Gingwish. Thanks so much, Joe. How's it going? Hey, good, Lauren. Good to see you on this Friday. Yeah, good to see you too. Let's take a look at our market activity for this noon. Dollar remaining strong this morning. While stocks were mixed at midday, money flowed out of the broader commodity sector early today, but prices stabilizing as the crude oil firms off its lows. Corn and wheat are posting modest gains, a little bit stronger in the wheat as the spreads with the soybeans unwound, while there is also some light concern maybe about some frost in the northwestern Midwest and fears that planting delays in some areas may shift more of our acres over to soybeans. In the corn specifically, Specifically, steady to a penny higher at midday. Uh, trade finding some light buying during the day session. The U.S. weather, of course, looks cooler and weather in the near term. That would be mildly supportive with slower planting and growth on into the middle of next week. Soybean trade, seeing some volatile trade today. We are 5 to 10 cents lower at midday, continuing with the uh, lower momentum after we had our uh, spike higher in that uh, crop report out on Tuesday. We trade four to eight cents higher, though, across all three contracts at midday. Some profit taking versus the recent shorts in the market. The dollar is sharply higher this morning. That should limit some buying enthusiasm over in the wheat. World weather for wheat remains mostly non threatening for the moment. And that July Kansas City chart resistance now at 453. That was on the uh, 10 day average, which uh, it moved through that resistance today. So that should give us a little buying support over in the wheat. The uh, cattle trade, that nearby June contract, that was supported on the front month with this week's gains we've seen in the cash markets and also by our boxed beef prices. The uh, deferreds were lower, though, just looking at some liquidation going into the weekend. Some investors also do remain cautious about the strength of demand after we get through our Memorial Day holiday. Hog market, meanwhile, sliding in a midweek rally, so a little bit lower hog prices today as well. Cash cattle trade, very quiet. We expect that to pick up here later this afternoon. Uh, after yesterday's bullish explosion on the board, uh, without a doubt, higher prices work to fund more aggressive trade volume. So we'll see what we develop here later this afternoon in the feedlot trade. How about the box beef? Well, we were higher on the light choice again at noon, up three dollars and forty-eight cents to two seventeen ninety-four. Light select was up fifty-eight cents at two hundred five eighty-two. That was on seventy-one loads as of the noon hour. Midday pork carcass cut out up a dollar sixteen to eighty-four dollars twenty-nine cents. That was on one hundred and twenty-two loads. At at noon. Direct hog trade today, Iowa Southern Minnesota on a weighted average, $1.26 lower at $74.24. The uh, national direct hogs on a weighted average, $0.83 cents lower at $73.39. So that could also have something to do with our lower prices on the board in the hogs today. Lots more ag information, including the market activity at krvn.com. You can also tune us in at 8.80 a.m. and 106.9 f.m. there in the Kearney area. Lauren, back to you. All right, thanks, Joe. When it comes to looking up the latest in ag news as well, head over to our website, nebraska.tv, and click on on NTV's Grow. After Road to the State Fair starts now with a unique livestock show. <laughs> More up later. Weather is next.